Can the Mavs do it? Can the Mavs extend this series? Can they get it to a game six? Can they keep their chance at history alive? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. It was a very impressive game four victory, but like there were a couple reasons they won that game that just feel very unsustainable in game five. I mean, you know, this is sort of where the NBA is at right now, where the amount of three point shooting that every team has can lead to games like this, where like a team can just get insanely hot. And that's what Dallas did. They were 15 of 37 on threes in game four. And like, when you do that, there's just nothing that even the best teams can do about it, like Boston. And so, I mean, I guess I'll say this, if Dallas keeps shooting like that, yeah, they're gonna have a chance. That was a big reason why they lost the first three games because they just weren't generating shots. They weren't hitting shots. So yeah, if they're gonna shoot 40% on almost 40 attempts, yeah, they're gonna have a chance, but like odds are, it's, it's just not gonna happen because Boston's defense is just that good. And it's like, I mean, we've talked about it ad nauseum at this point, they're, they're deep, they're versatile, lengthy, switchable, all that stuff. And like, it just it's just really hard to generate three point looks, let alone knock them down. And I just don't know if Dallas has the manpower to do that another time, let alone two more times if they were even to win this game. But then also I just think this comes down to like, like, the, like we think of NBA players and athletes in general as just like robots. But like there is a very human element to sports. Like when you're up 3-0, it's very hard to muster up the same motivation you had in the previous three games. That's just natural. Like when you're so close, you naturally might think, oh, is Dallas gonna take their foot off the gas? Are they just gonna lay down? And to the Mavs credit, they didn't. Um, but I don't think that's gonna happen twice from Boston's perspective. Like I think, you know, coming back home for game, like it happens a lot, right? Where a team goes up 3-0, and then naturally they let their foot off the gas. Like the, the the other team wants to like, you know, they don't want to lose in front of their fans. They don't want to get swept in front of their fans. So it happens. Like this series is heading back to Boston. And I imagine the Celtics, you know, understanding what's in front of them right now to be able to win the championship on your home court. You definitely don't want to go to a game six because if it goes to a game six, it's very likely going seven. So like, I feel like Dallas, you know, it was a good game four, but, but I don't know if they're going to replicate it. And I think Boston fully understands the moment that's at hand. Like they don't want to play with their food at all, take care of business. You know, I think that loss probably sort of like reset their motivation a little bit. Obviously when you're close to a championship, you're super motivated, but again, just naturally when you're up 3-0, you feel like the other team's going to bow out, but they didn't. But I imagine going back home, chance to win on your home court, don't want to go back to Dallas, want to close out this series. Like it feels like it ends tonight, but I hope I'm wrong because I want more basketball and I also don't really want to see the Celtics win a championship. So who knows?